Although we think of matter as unchanging, many substances change their physical states. Ice melts to water as it changes from solid to liquid. Water freezes as it changes from liquid to solid. And when water boils, its physical state changes from liquid to gas. Most substances can exist in liquid or gaseous state. Nitrogen changes to liquid nitrogen at very low temperatures. To undergo the physical state change from a liquid to a gas or vapor, a substance requires a specific amount of heat. The heat required is called the heat of vaporization. The heat of vaporization is the amount of heat energy required to change the state of a specified mass of a substance from a liquid to a gas or a gas to a liquid at a specified pressure. The specific heat of vaporization is the amount of heat added to vaporize one gram of a substance at standard temperature and pressure. When a pot of water is placed on a burner, a phase change begins. If the burner gives off enough heat, the water will boil. The liquid water changes to gaseous water or steam. On a molecular level, water is liquid because of weak hydrogen bonds between the molecules. As the water heats up, this attractive force decreases. The heat provides energy so that the motion of water molecules exceeds the strength of the hydrogen bonds. Water turns to steam when heat provides enough energy to completely break the weak hydrogen bonds. When water boils or when it condenses back to liquid, it undergoes a phase change. During a phase change, the substance absorbs or releases heat. It may also undergo significant change in volume. For example, the volume of water increases by 1,700-fold when it changes from liquid to gas. This expansion is the principle behind steam engines, such as this steam locomotive. When water boils at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius, both the liquid water and gaseous steam remain at 100 degrees Celsius until all the water has turned into steam. All the heat energy added to the system during this time is being used to change the water into steam. Similarly, when allowed to cool, the steam condenses into water, but the temperature remains at 100 degrees Celsius until all the steam has condensed into water. In this case, all the energy lost from the system causes a change in the state of the steam, not its temperature.